Hello. Hello. Welcome to Two Drunks. <laughs> Tonight's episode we have one brewery, just to, which is located in Cincinnati. Um, all three beers are bomber bottles, so big bottles from Rivertown. All right, we've got the bomber bottles with a weird name on it that I can't even pronounce correctly. Yeah, the first one is the Ojos Negros. Um, it is their Lambic with blackberries in it. Um, they brew this one about once a year. Um, they do their Lambic all the time. Um, you can get that. It's their basic sour. Um, this one they have on tap, not as long as they have it in stock. Um, and they have limited numbers of bottles. Ooh, that does smell, smell sour. Yeah, it's very strong smelling, citrusy smelling, sour. Well, I smell is those random diffusers over here. Yeah. Pretty sour. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste anything like beer. No. no. It tastes like more like a cider. Wine. Yeah, it tastes like wine or like almost it champagne. Tastes like overly mm. fermented. Yeah. Champagne. Yes. Igor said champagne. 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 Or should we say uh, sparkling wine? <laughs> sparkling wine. <laughs> champagne. champagne. Bubbly wine. Bubbly. Champagne and wine. It is. It's like a cross between wine and champagne and. I mean, you can definitely tell the, the fruit, shit. like the blackberries in it, from like the regular lambic. And and Igor's over here making some pretty funny sour faces. Mm -hmm. Peanut gallery. <laughs> peanut says gallery says it's delicious. <laughs> peanut gallery's crazy. Well, I got a feeling the peanut gallery's gonna get drunk off of this one. Beer number two. This is the second beer from Rivertown Brewery for the night. This is their Insurrection, their Imperial IPA. Joy. John does not like IPAs, and so basically Imperial means it's a double IPA. Um, it it smells like the same, same kind of terminology. Um, if you like hops, you're going to love it! Yeah, it's pretty strong. It smells like ass. It's actually pretty smooth. It's really not that hoppy for a, no. a double IPA. Very smooth. Oh. <laughs> that. I already knew John wouldn't like this one. <laughs> it is. like it, it, it's, it starts out nice, and all of a sudden it's, that... It's pleasant <laughs> until you swallow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> that is what I said. But John agrees with me. It's pleasant until you swallow. How do you know that, John? The aftertaste is just no, no. But Igor likes it. And our third and final so far tonight beer is the Chicago style breakfast stout. This is in collaboration with Quaffman Brothers. I think I said that right. Quaff Brothers, however you say that. Hopefully this episode will have subtitles. Um, <laughs> this one, they came out with the day after Ohio lifted their percentage of APV of alcohol per volume in their beer. This is 15% alcohol by volume. This is a breakfast stout, which is normally dark, heavy, good for morning, warms you up. I don't know really what makes it Chicago style. Um, but the picture of it does have strawberries and Maybe waffles. Maybe should give this to the uh, Cubs like player. Maybe they play better. Waffles. It doesn't really smell like coffee either, though. It smells like cough syrup. I smell chocolate. I smell ass. <laughs> That's weird. Oh. Tastes syrup. Like I was going to say, yeah. Is there, it's like a hint of syrup, but... It kind of tastes like dark chocolate. Yeah. It's like... I don't know. It just, I don't, wow, it's just really thick. Yeah, it's, mm. it's very strong. I just taste it's, syrup. Uh, yeah. But it's not like pleasant maple syrup. It's thick, sticky, congealed. It's dark chocolate. Yeah, I, I'm, it's between chocolate and syrup. Yeah, I, I mean, I have a hint, I have a hint of coconut. I don't know where that's coming from. Peanut Gallery says 
something along the lines of black licorice, but still not quite. I like black licorice. This I think she either. might be getting black licorice because of how much alcohol is in it. Because it is high alcohol. I can kind of taste the alcohol. I'll tell it. you what, I've only drank, you know, about as much as left in Jack's glass. And I'll tell you, I feel warm. My entire esophagus yeah, is warm. Yeah. I'm like, my entire esophagus yeah. is just radiating warmth. This, is, this would be the best <laughs> breakfast for a cold winter's day. It'll warm you up and make you not care about anything. John, peanut gallery. Out of the three. I have to say the first one? I'm not John is try. picking the one that he can't I'm, pronounce. You know the uh, girls are both going with the sour. Okay, so I mean, camera lady and peanut gallery, I know you're probably going to send direction. I could drink either, actually. I, that well, I would prefer. No, not that one. No, those two. Yeah, I didn't think he would like sour. So, Igor's going with insurrection. I'm going with Chicago breakfast style. Uh, uh. You would. Yeah, you would. At first, I didn't like it at all. But the more I drink of it, yeah, the more I drink of it, I like it. Yeah, I'm like it is kind of growing on me. Like, I feel like I could finish my glass. It's all warm, man, I'm all sure. warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. and... But I mean, at River Town Brewery, they have so many more different so styles. So much beer, so and much glow. We'll be drunk by the time we get through it. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> but they have they have a whole bunch of different types. They have every spectrum. They have from light to dark. Um, they have the sours. <laughs> they have the hoppy. They have the middle of the, the, road, middle of the road. Dark. I mean, they do. They cater to So they have everything. everything. And with them opening up a new brewery up in Monroe, I think they're going to have some more things coming out. So, I mean, it's a good stop if you're in the Cincinnati area to stop here, try these. They have good prices on their beer. It's not like some of these other places that are overly priced. Um, and then also they have a good barbecue. Yeah, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Untapped, Twitter, um, YouTube here. Um, we also have our website at twodrunks.com. Um, <laughs> other than that, cheers. Have a good night.